Hi everyone, I'm McDysis, and I'm saying this for the second time because I messed up my first take. Uh, I'm doing Dead Rising 2 Case Zero. This is a DLC that came out before Dead Rising 2, and it's kind of like a prelude. It's actually a really cool uh, set of game, and it's a full-fledged game. It's just kind of like a micro-campaign. Uh, now, to make it more interesting is I am going to be doing every single achievement, which encompasses things like getting $100,000, uh, killing a 1,000 zombies, saving all the survivors, making all the combo weapons, and most of the other ones are beating the game. There's also, like, get a tip and stuff like that. So it's 12 achievements in total, and it's going to encompass everything on here. Uh, I should be able to get world of record, provided I don't uh, have a brain aneurysm during this. And if I do, this video probably doesn't exist. If you're watching this on YouTube, hi, YouTube. Uh, I'm glad I'm alive. Okay. Anyway, time begins once you hit new game. And we're starting from a new game file. And I can talk more about how this game has some interesting quirks. So, the cool thing about this game is that it is technically on a 12-hour time. Who am I talking to? Twitch, chat, and YouTube. Apparently I'm talking to you, to a degree. So this game's on a 12-hour cycle of in-game, and in total it'll take at least an hour to beat. Now, another important thing of doing this is I am going to have to think about what achievements I'm doing, when I'm doing them, and a lot of micro things. So I want to start off as immediately kind of making a few of the easier achievements for myself. So, first things first, I'm going to be making a combo weapon. In total, there are eight combo weapons. We're going to be making the Nail Bat. The Nail Bat is quite actually one of our best friends. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, in addition to this, I'm going to be also making things like the Bucket and the, the Drill later. Uh, I don't care about too many of these right now because I can make them in different areas. But the main idea of this game is I'm going to want to minimize as much downtime as possible. Uh, I do not want to deal with any downtime in this run. Meaning, I don't want to take extra loading screens, I don't want to dilly-dally. Um, I need to make full use of my time, just so I can wait out time later. It's kind of weird that I'm saying I need to be optimal with my time, also wasting my time. You'll understand what I mean in due time. As well, I've turned off tutorials in the game, because that will waste time as well. So, one thing, important thing to note right now is after making the drill bucket, I've made two out of the eight combo weapons. I'm also mashing start whenever I know there's a cutscene, a cutscene coming up. Now, I don't really care to use most of these combo weapons. I kind of just need the combo weapons. Uh, it's something that you're going to have to make all of them. And you just need to make one of the combo weapons. Uh, I don't need the drill bucket, but I'll use it to murder this man. As well, I don't want to be murdering zombies too much yet. Uh, I like to get a good amount out early, but I'd rather get rid of the trash combo weapons. Because a lot of the combo weapons are nice, but they're not going to be usable at all. Like, they're not going to be usable in the slightest. Uh, a good example would be the paddle saw. But, as well, I'm going to want a few extra things uh, in addition to this. Now, something that's going to save me a load of time over my last run, which I put the timer up here because I don't, say I don't, know, I don't know how to begin to make splits for this run. Um, when I first did this, I didn't realize that spray paint was on the uh, not only on the roof. Uh, apparently, there's spray, spray paint behind here. Why is the game feel slow-mo? It was an Xbox 360 era game. Also, something else important to note is I'm playing this on a Series X, so I'm going to be getting faster loads. That's a big reason why I'm able to get it. Loads can really make a huge difference here. Also, a special achievement that I haven't really talked about yet, because we just started, is I need to unlock four doors. Uh, this is going to be one of the first few we unlock. So here we are. We're going to be going inside here, and here is our first unlocked door. The Sheriff's Office. As well, while I'm here, I'm going to be grabbing a shotgun. I want to minimize any of the big weapons possible. Yeah, you can play uh, older games on the Series X. Uh, this works for a lot of backwards compatible ones. And Dead Rising, um, I really I think all of them are backwards compatible. I actually have a fun idea I might make in a future video. That's going to be very stupid with uh, Dead Rising stuff, and I am excited to try it. Now, an interesting thing that I learned is how money works in this game. So I mentioned I'm going to need a thousand or a hundred thousand dollars. I'm going to be getting a lot of money, but I still want to maximize the amount of money I can get too. So I want to make sure no zombies will get in here, and I also am going to be doing this: kill every zombie in here and do not harm the machines. So a neat thing about this is there's actually an, a very odd glitch you can do. So normally to break a machine, I want to just hit it, but with the machines with money in front of them, uh, there's a glitch you can do where you'll win five times. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
So once it spits out five monies, I can then break it. So I just made a load of money. Uh, so they can play some of them. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Uh, certain games vary for what you can play on a Series X, by the way. Oh, hold on, let me stop all of it. Good. Uh, so the money routing is going to be super important. The less load screens I need to take to make all this money, the better this is going to be. Because I'm going to need a lot of it. Now, I will be getting some money from basic missions, but I still don't want to waste too much. Here we go. Uh, I learned this is a strategy from very recent. All right, there's two, three, four, five. There's a shocking amount this works on, by the way, and I really had to think about money gathering when it came to this game because it's going to be very helpful and cut down the amount of total loads. No, not you, the cast register. No, the cast register. There's a lot of money to be had in this game. Less trips I'm making the loading screen, the better it'll be. Anyway, one trip to this store alone gave me $10,000. That is very good already. Uh, but I can make more. How am I going to do that? By going to every single money-making location. Now, I know you're thinking, hey, don't you need to kill a thousand zombies? We'll be doing that momentarily. Also, can I break this? I can. Good. I'm glad that works. I actually didn't think that would work. Fuck. This one will give me, I think, a little over a thousand. Like, like 300 per register. And then, hey, look at that. ATMs give 500. For total values, by the way, ATMs are 500, uh, casino, or, you know, the slot machines are 300 if you just break it. Uh, cash registers are also 300. So anytime I come upon any of these, I want to break all of them. Also, I am taking time to kill zombies if they're in my way, because I don't really need to worry about them. Like, they're not going to be a hindrance, but I do need a thousand dead eventually. Really? You know what, just, just grab it and throw it, Chuck. Good job, lad. Later on, I'll be using another weapon to break these instead of this. We'll see. Also, I like how that cash register had 400. Immediately invalidating what I was just saying. That is great, ain't it? Chuck tries his best. So you might be wondering, what's the main mission of this game? So to actually beat the game, there are two major win conditions. Uh, win condition one is you are going to give Katie her Zombrex. Uh, how you obtain the Zombrex doesn't matter. Anyway, one... Two... Three. I have... Wait, 3.5. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Now it's three. Four. Five. Also, as you can see, that money-making glitch is working in t as intended. I'm making a load of money off this stuff. And break. God, the money routing got so much better in, like, one quick moment, and that's hilarious. It is a proto-man standout, and we're doing it again. Oh, I hit the wrong one. I lost another dollars, oh no! I can't believe it! God, stop putting money in there, Chuck. Barnier Bonanza keeps laughing at me, chat. Anyway, this is three. Four. Five. There we go. I can't believe kept laughing at me. You know what? Laugh at this. All right. So in total, you get a lot of money is what I'm saying. You get a lot, lot, lot of money. So why does this matter? Also, oh my god. I could probably do that in like fewer trips than I thought I would make it. That's very good. With a game that's kind of designed around loads, I really want to minimize my loads. In the past, you would take more trips. You go to the casino and only that. But this way, it's going to be nice. If I'm doing this right, the run in total is going to take me about an hour, 11 minutes. Maybe less. Maybe an hour, 10. Also, the back of the movie theater will have my second door to unlock. Uh, I don't actually need this bat anymore, funny enough. So I'm going to just kill zombies, and I'm going to break it. Yep, we already have one-fourth of the money. As well, I'm going to be getting uh, $25,000 from one survivor. So in total, I should be able to do this in just a few trips. Also, I hope I don't die. I didn't heal, did I? I thought I did. Anyway, give me the battery. So the battery will always be in the back of the movie theater. You're going to need the battery, you'll need a can of spray paint, and we're going to need some special weapons later. The game kind of balances itself by giving you both special weapons and regular weapons to make. Uh, what I mean by special ones is that, like, a good example is the nail on the bat can be found anywhere. Meanwhile, the battery will only be able to be found in certain locations. 
So, to get the battery, you'll have to go to the back of the movie theater. But getting the nail bat's easy. And that's kind of the difficulty of the all combo weapons part of this. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. If you're wondering why I'm saying that, because I'm about to make every single combo weapon possible. But not all of them, all of them. But again, I've already made the drill bucket, and I've already made the nail bats. We're about to make a few more right now. By dropping a load of weapons in here. Uh, there we go. I'm going to drop almost everything right here. Also, I want to get rid of my shotgun ammo just a little bit here. Because I don't need all of it. Anyway, first things first, we're going to be making propane. Yes, the battery does go with the rake. And propane and nails will be our third combo weapon. This is, I think, called IED. It's a neat weapon. You can throw it, and then, guess what? You can shoot it. Boom. Cool. Also, while you can fire the gun, leave one bullet at least. You need one bullet in this gun. If you're missing even one, that will be bad. Uh, once you're in here, we can take the cash register as well. I'm taking the money. Now, what we need is we need a pitchfork, we need a rake, and we need the chainsaw. Uh, this is going to be our next three combo weapons. So after this, I will have made six. Yeah! It's a fun time, Candy Quartz. I thought it would be a fun thing to do this today. Anyway, here's the paddle saw. Really cool weapon, but not very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chuck it at this man. We don't need the weapon. It is useless. Up next is the battery and the rake. Actually a pretty good weapon, but the problem with the battery and the rake is you yes. drop it. Because you can't carry it with anything. Now, a cool weapon that we will be using is the shotgun and the pitchfork, because I can keep it with me. I actually, well, that's fine. I guess I will take the paddle saw for a bit, just so I can kill some zombies. It'll be a nice way to make my way through here a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to care too much about my spray paint right now, but do believe me, I will be making use of that. Uh, but first things first, we're going to do the actual mission, so to speak. Also, I am curious if a reload here will actually cause the, uh, the slot machines to spawn back in, because I don't know that. Alrighty, anyway, the reason why I'm doing this is because I can get some free kills just while I'm here. You also listen to the sound of bees, because it's the chainsaw in it. I don't really care about the zombies too much, but I do need to go through here to get what I need. Uh, right now, I want a lot of zombie kills. As you can imagine, getting a thousand zombie kills and finding the time to factor this in is going to take a little bit of work. And while this weapon is nice, as you can see, it's not very fast. So, once I'm done kind of clearing the zombies in this area, I'll be getting my real thing. And what's the real thing I want? Well, it is going to be the motorcycle cart. So, once we get the Zombrex here, we're going to be getting a motorcycle cart. Do not save. Uh, the motorcycle cart, the utility cart, is very good. Now, the reason why it's very good is because it's indestructible. There's not a lot of weapons in Dead Rising that can be called indestructible, but this is actually one of them. So, there's a good chance that this can kill a zombie if you run it over. Uh, it does just a little under base zombie health. Some zombies don't have 100% health, so as you can see, I'm actually getting zombie kills while running them over. And also, Chuck running will be the fastest you can move without having a moveset, which we'll be doing that later. Now, I don't want to kill too many zombies, because if I kill too many, that will be uh, a bit inefficient. However, I do want to kill a lot of the zombies, so as you can see, I'm going to get roughly around 500. Also, it looks like the machines are fixed. Wow, they're actually fixed? Wait, you're kidding me. Are they actually fixed? No. No, they're not. Okay. They're broken. There we go. Also, this weapon's nice. It's not great, but it's definitely not bad. So we can use it for a little bit here. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to run around until I've killed roughly about, let's say, 500. I think 500 is a nice flat number. Now, the reason why I don't want to kill more than 500 is because I'm going to have moments later where I also have chances to kill zombies. Now, killing 1,000 early, great job. I'm proud of you. You've done it. You killed 1,000 zombies. But I need to kill zombies to save certain survivors anyway. So it's going to be rather inefficient if I kill too many. In fact, I'm actually thinking maybe I even do 400. And even though I do have time to kill at the moment, I still do want to make sure that I'm not totally wasting time here. There we go. I like how that didn't kill him. Now it did. 
Alright, let's go back. There's way too many zombies on the main strip. But yeah, also, if you just have trouble getting the zombies killed, use the cart. The cart is indestructible. It is one of the only weapons, and I think, in any Dead Rising game that cannot be broken. Which is kind of wild to think about. Also, uh, what I've been doing previously is I will kill the zombies on the main strip, and then once the numbers start dwindling, I start going to the side street. Uh, zombie generation in Dead Rising is always kind of based on where you're not looking, and I think it does it based on how many you kill. So you do want to make sure that you're killing a decent amount before you move on. Or else you'll be losing a lot of time. But you still want to be efficient. Also, I want to make sure I don't spend any money until I have actually done that, as I actually need to keep calculations of how many I've spent now. But I no longer get the load achievement pop up. The way I've been doing this is by mostly spending Zombrex, which is pretty easy. But I will be buying a special tool during some of the parts. I just need to keep a special count of how many I've done, because that's going to be annoying if I don't. Don't you just love the zombie genocider? You know, I had a few people ask you, ask me, I, why don't you do zombie genocider speedruns? And it's mainly because usually you're murdering zombies or running them over with something. It's not super amazing, but it's also not super boring. Like, honestly, I think if I ever wanted to go for the gung-ho, like, zombie genocider, it's like two hours of driving in a car. I'd probably just, like, play music the whole time or something because I would be bored out of my mind if I just listened to the sound of car. Like, luckily for us, this probably takes us a little under 20 minutes total. All right, I've had more zombies spawning here now by the theater. Also, I still need to carry a couple more combo weapons, and I might actually grab everything I need before I need to do that. Yep. Well, for off the record, there's a trick for that. Uh, off the record has a special uh, glitch where it's like 20 minutes. Oh wait, it's this side. There we go. This man really trying to get my card. Yep. There's a very cool glitch off the record has to get zombie genocider super fast. You did the glitch? Yeah. Alright, almost there. I want to get, I think, four. Let's try it. Let's go for a 400. You can? Yep. The glitch is so obscure, too. Like, the glitch off the record is you go to the Atlantica, you jump in a certain corner, you do a flip. And then you just, uh, you, you do like a zombie throwing the, uh, over your shoulder, I think. And then you just, like, start spamming queens. And then it counts as, like, every zombie in the plaza. And it works very efficiently. Alright, where are the zombie hordes at? These big hordes I'm not getting right now. Yeah, that's right. That's what it is. Alright, so so far I've unlocked two doors. I'll get more in a moment. So we're at 300. Nice. This is good so far. Yeah, I think last time I did... What, 500? I wanna make sure I'm not getting too many now. Also, I can make my spray paint weapon. I probably might I might actually just straight up do that because I don't like the spray paint weapon at all. It's not a good weapon. It's a bad weapon to use. It's just kind of boring and rough to use, so I don't like using it. All right, there's the speed. Um, we can make that in a moment. In fact, I might do it right now. Because this weapon is just going to take an inventory slot. Now, the reason I don't like this weapon is it's the air horn, and the air horn is like, uh, hold on, let me get rid of this. The air horn is a weapon, uh, it really is just, alright, make a zombie listen to you loud enough. Wait, what? I hit a propane tank? I guess I did. I hate the zombie so much, by the way. If you try grabbing things, it is kind of a pain. There we go. Alright, it sounds like almost an hour has passed, because once the planes are going, that's an indication of time. There's two indications of time in this game, the planes and the bells. Uh, the bells are kind of like a standard alarm clock, but the planes are... I don't actually know what they stand for. I think maybe the half hour, maybe? Oh, they could just be ambient noise. I definitely know I hear them every now and again. Yeah, it's a race. I want to get world record in this category. Also, I'm doing a minor speedruns explained, or commentated run, as I thought it would be fun. Anyway, a few more. Alright, I think once I get 400, we'll be fun. Well, Chuck is actually kind of terrifying and a bit of a monster. He also caused the Fortune City outbreak, from what I heard. 
All right. I like how running into the traffic cone allowed that to happen, by the way. Good. Okay, let's make the next pylon weapon. So this is going to be spray paint and pylon. Also, I'll be making the Molotov here, because I don't really care about the Molotov. Damn right. Good. So Molotov. And did I make all the combo weapons? I have Wait. one more to make, which is the beer hat. I've made almost all the pi uh, almost all the combo weapons. So, give it to you. So weapons like the Molotov are kind of cool, but they don't really have a lot of use. Well, I mean, traffic cones do stop you from uh, driving recklessly. So it makes sense. Alright, I have one more I need to make, and that's going to be the beer hat. So far, I have made the electric rake, the paddle saw, the nail bat, uh, the propane nails, the IE I think it's all the IED. Uh, I've made the boomstick, the molotov, the tra- Alright, I lost count. By the way, the only one left is the beer hat. I kind of miss having the achievements spawn up. I also made one more that I forgot. Did I? I don't remember. I did a lot. Anyway, I think we're nearing enough. Maybe. Just maybe. Nah. I think a solid 500. We need to get up there. We're getting a good amount from this. See, Chuck will never break the cart. There's also going to be some special item grabs I'm going to be doing because I need to grab them for other people. But most of my purchases I'm going to be making into Zobrex because then it's a very clean, even spread amount. I like how I'm getting, like, I don't know. Hey, I passed 420. But we haven't been counting the 69s. I can't believe it. Also, you can make a beer hat. You just need some straw, duct tape. Hey, speaking of beer hats, I have beer with me, technically. I've really been drinking. I don't know why I opened it. See, I'm a slow drinker if I drink alone. It's just there. Like, the slots are already dead. They don't refresh. Really late one. I've been going long. So, as always, any support is appreciated, chat. Any support is appreciated. Okay, that ought to be enough now. We can take it back. Ran circles around the gas station. Exactly. Alright, now we may begin to spend money. Also, I'm thinking the wrench might be able to do one of the jobs for me. Yeah. Good. Alrighty, so now we've done the first bit, and I have killed almost 500 zombies. I don't want to kill too many, because if you kill too many, then you're going to be wasting time. So, just kill barely enough. I think for me, this was a good amount. And also, you know, if you're running low on time, you just kill the zombies later. This is one of those areas you're waiting anyway, so it's not so bad. There we go. Alrighty, so now we're beginning the main crux of this game, which is going to be finding bike parts. Yeah, it's nice, Iris. Finding bike parts is going to be an annoying mission, because you need to find five of them. This is the main way to beat the game. Ideally, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to chain as many as possible together. I don't want to just leave it being as a, hey, I've done the thing. I want to make sure that it's like, hey, I am doing everything I can here, right? Yeah, I made the IED, the nail bat, the rake, the paddle saw, the molotov, the air horn, and the boomstick. So all that's going to be left is the beer hat. Also back to blue. Damn right, I'm going back to blue. Also sip. Big sip. Speed on the beer? No, I don't want to speed on the beer. All right, now begins the actual gameplay part of this gameplay. You're going to be saving the worst guy in this game. His name is Dick. You know why? Because he's a dick. He actually is a dick. Uh, but also, uh, the working theory of Dick is that he fills up, he repairs the vending machines and all the money around town, because how else would he be getting money? I've done a beer bong. Anyway, here's Dick. You need to save him for all survivors. He counts. Also, Dick's gonna be, like, one of the main guys. Uh, this is why I made the nail bat. Uh, it's just a nice weapon to have. And also, this is kind of why I was also saying don't, like, kill too many zombies. Because with the game, you're going to have to kill zombies with, with people like Dick. 
Uh, Dick won't follow you unless you actually kill the zombies around him. So, you're gonna be doing the killing. Plus, you know, when you're running around, you'll be doing minor killings as well with guys like the ones in the vending machine, or, you know, the slot machines, and stuff like that. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bonus zombies that will go, and Dick will be really annoying. He's like, you didn't save me! So I'm making sure. Alright, uh, I got two more. Plus, it's good experience. There we go. There we go. So Dick's good now, we can talk to him. Thank you for the follow. And Dick's mostly an easy mission. So, you might be wondering why I haven't really done the last combo weapon of the beer hat. The beer hat doesn't make sense for me to do yet, because I have some secondary stuff I want to do. Which is going to require me to do some platforming. It's going to be a fun time. Come on, Dick. Here he is. Also, Dick makes you buy things, because he's a dick. Platforming, you gotta love it. Alright, I'm not gonna buy anything from Dick right now. Actually, I will buy one thing from Dick. I'm buying a $500 moose head, making my current total at $500 spent. So, moose heads are important. I'm now $95,000... Wait, $99,500 left. The moose head's going to be nice, because that is going to be a good tool at breaking machines and letting me fast travel. The main thing I want right now is actually the fast travel. I don't really care about the breaking of the machines, because in all honesty, I actually don't want to break the machines yet. Once again, we're going to be killing the zombies and doing the money duping. Or, not money duping, but money winning. Alright, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, we're going to do this in each one. One. Two, three, four, five. And then one. Yeah, two, three, four, five. For anyone who may have missed it or if you forgot, uh, the way this works is that anytime you find money in front of a slot machine, it is guaranteed to win the first five times you try. So all you have to do is put money in five times, and you will win. World record? Actually, yeah, I might get a world record if I beat this uh, properly in the way I'm thinking. And make sure you get all the money in this location. You need all of it. In total, we're going for $100,000, and we want that as, as little loading screens as possible. And as a reminder, you don't want too much money, because overfarming is bad too. Um, you're going to be getting 25000 or so from a survivor later, so... I uh, should have a two-part mission as well for that. Okay. Anyway, I've got everything I need. Now I may return to the Moosehead. There we go. So, the reason why the Moosehead's cool is because the Moosehead allows you to run. There's not a lot of things in this game that actually let you run, so having even one that lets you do this is really good. Also, Rise and Shine Greenie. Now, the downside of the Moosehead, though, in comparison to the cart for killing, is the Moosehead is, um... You know, fragile. Also, Chad, I'm going to have a fun thing, and I'm going to show you the average Canadian man. This really isn't my size. There you go. The average Canadian man. He is a king in yes. his outfit, and we respect him. He has a pretty dress, but I do like the base outfit. There actually is a hunting outfit you can get as well if you want to be, uh, you know, the av average uh, Canadian mountain man. There you go. Alrighty, so we get our money from there. I'll be getting the bowling alley one at the end of this. Also, another thing to consider is if you have the moose head on in a horde of zombies, be super careful. Uh, the zombies are very good at interrupting the moose head, which is awful for us. There we go. Yeah, that's what the shirt means. Okay, so once again, one, two. Oh, I should count. All right, so this is two. Three. Wrong one. 
for. God, I hate that one so much. It doesn't even let me win. You think the random chance would let me win at least one, right? This is the worst one. I would recommend breaking it if you can. If you can break that, break it. It is somehow really awkward on the hitbox, and I have no idea why. Like, it's weird because none of the other ones have this issue. Uh, another neat thing that could happen in theory is, I don't know if there's like a gambling book in this one. If there was, you can tell me use that to win more, but I'm able to find any books. I actually missed that. Alright, uh, I'm on four, I think. And that should be the last one. Nope, one too many. That's fine. You don't believe there is? I don't think there is either. Alright, I think one more trip ought to do it for me. Okay, I shouldn't be needing the bat anymore, and that will be alrighty. We're gonna break some cast registers. As well, the guy should be spawning in soon. So the main guy is gonna be some guy on the roof who's kinda like your Otis. And that's Bob. With Bob, he's gonna be giving you missions in the interim to teach you like, Hey, uh, we got people here. You gotta save him. So you walk up to him, he'll tell you, this is where you gotta do it. So it's important to talk to Bob every now and again. There we go. All right, got our money from there. And there he is. So he's right up here. So the reason why I haven't really gotten the beer hat yet is because Bob is going to have his own special stuff here. Just based on wasn't too off the record, makes sense. Uh, I need to talk to Bob to get the missions as far as I'm aware. I think they might spawn in without it, because every other Dead Rising game does do that. But it's still kind of good to talk to Bob, because you're going to have to go up here anyway. And he'll give you missions. Oh, hold on. Oh, you haven't given a mission yet? There we go. Alright, apparently I wasted a lot more time than I have previously, by the way. I've done Backdoor to the Cinema. Right now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going around the side of the building to do some parkour. Also, I want the moose head just so I can run over here. Close one. Be very careful. You know what? I have a better idea. Be very careful with your parkouring. Parkour is hard. Parkour is very hard. But luckily, if you're not very good at parkour, like I am, uh, there is an alternative, which is going to be right here. Also, I probably could have kept that queen. Uh, this is the jump that you can also make. Uh, this might take a few tries. Trust me, it's as awkward as it looks. I really don't know how to define it. But, uh... This is the jump you need to make. For some reason, it just doesn't work sometimes. But trust me, it does work. Oh my god. Chuck's platforming is just as awkward as it looks. So at some point, I'll find the position. And once that happens, use that. Close one. I think you need to be, like, dead on for it. There we go. So just like that. Luckily, you only need to come up here once. Now, why are we coming up here? We are coming up here for this key. This is the shed key. And we are also coming up here for two more things. Well, one more thing. Well, yeah, two. It's two. So, don't miss this or else you'll embarrass yourself and I'll laugh at you if I find out about it. On this building right here, there is a construction hat. This is the only construction cap that I am aware of. You need it. You need it. You need it. It's very important to have. So once you get that, you're then going to make your way over to this right here. Right? Yeah, I love it, right? So, this is going to be the last door that we're going to be opening. Um, well, kind of the last door. Not really the last, last door, but one of the last doors we're going to be opening. Uh, this is going to be the gun shop. Or the hunting shop. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here. I resisted the football. I had to. Alright, now comes the fun part. We're going to be saving these survivors. Uh, the survivor save is very easy, and it's like to the tutorial one, technically. First things first, kill the zombies outside. No reason not to. And then, once you're all nice and clean, uh, Gemini will join your party automatically. Uh, keep in mind, I'm removing the moose head. Uh, the reason why is because you're going to need two brewskis uh, for this man here, for Fosto. There we go. Cheers, lad. 
He wants another boost brewski? We give him two. Uh, there's no cast register. Oh, there is. Oh, yay, and I get some money. And then he should join my party after puking. Yay! So, Gemini is your best friend here, because Gemini is going to be giving you a lot of money for saving her. There we go. Alrighty. So, before I make a trek back, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually be going... Let's see, hold on. I want to try something out first. We're going to be getting two items, so I actually don't even care about the Moosehead right now. But I do care about dead, uh, dead people. Let's see, can I do this? I can. So they're making their way over. I'm going to be grabbing the gasoline canister. This is one of the five bike parts. So there are two types of bike parts in this game. Stay right there. Uh, you're going to be having bulky and not bulky. Um, the gasoline is considered a not bulky bike part. Now, this is important because there's a lot of bulky bike parts in this game. And the bulky bike parts can't be carried with anything else. So you can only carry that item. So, this is going to be important because I am going to be buying an, a wheel, which is $5,000. Meaning I have now spent $5,500. Give, give me the wheel. Thank you. Excellent. I don't care about the moose head right now because I can only carry the gasoline and the wheel. I'm going to do this combo twice in the game. Uh, out of the total of five parts, three are bulky and two are not bulky. So every time you take back a bulky item, you're also going to want to take back a not bulky item. Um, the other one that's not going to be bulky is going to be the bike arm, I think, or the handlebars. Aha, I made that joke earlier. I do, but I'll do that one later. Alrighty, and I got these two here with me. So Gemini is awesome. Uh, Gemini will give you a lot of money. Uh, she gives you some for the upfront save. There we go. There we go. I want to say she gives you 10,000. 15,000. Oh, she gives you 30,000 total. Oh, never mind. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that's 5,000 more dollars than I thought I'd have. Alright, cool. Yeah, I have to buy the hints. And I'll be doing that. Alright, also, I'm taking the parts back, and I'm putting them on. It does not count unless you put the parts on. Also, it will not hurt to make another spiked bet. These are very good at breaking things. So, this is also why I wanted to route in as much money as I can per trip. Uh, also, Gemini's secondary mission will be on the third next time I come back, because, um, obviously, I don't want to be entering and exiting too much, because this loading screen will happen. I don't want this loading screen to happen too much. Uh, I'm going to be having one trip I can do on my own. And then the final trip, I have to be outside. The final trip is going to be at the, the last day. So I want to get all my money spent in a couple more trips. This should be fun. Remember, anytime he is waving, he has a mission for you. So you want to make sure you get those. Nope, I am playing this on the Xbox Series X. That is how you play it. Now, you may be wondering, why do I have this broadsword? Later in the game, we're going to be getting a survivor mission where you need a broadsword. So, something to keep in mind. As well, for spending your money, you primarily want to be buying Zombrex with it. Uh, the reason why is because it's going to be very, very easy to keep in mind how much money you have. You know, counting moose heads, you can say, alright, I have like 80 moose heads. That's not a good way to count money. I have three Zombrex. That's 25000 apiece. And you can see the Zombrex counter. That's a very good way of counting money. Also, you can use this weapon if you need to. It's a nice weapon to have, and it's really not a bad weapon. So, something to keep in mind. Also, I am actually going to want to use this chair to kill this man. There we go. The chair won't kill the machine. Remember what weapons are strong and what weapons are weak. Alright, good. There we go. Okay. One... Q. Hold on. I did two. Three. Four. Five. And slash. 
Nice and easy money. It's quite literally free. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. In theory, I feel like you can win more of these machines. Is that five or four? Alright, that was four. I had six. I miscounted. Also, I need to count out loud or I will forget. Uh, that is something I mess up on. Free money. Although, I did eat 100 of my monies. Oh, uh, hold on. There we go. Get out of the way, you. Thank you for the one bit. Two. Three. Four. Five. I really don't want to accidentally break these. How's the game run? Going good, Cullen. It's going good. Thank you for the 15 bits. There we go. And then we almost have all the money we need. Remember, there'll be 15,000 that we are getting uh, at the very, not the very end, but from uh, Gem Gemini once again. Uh, the only reason it's not there yet is because I needed to leave the spot to get it. Also, I'm going to be buying a couple more things from Dick really quick. Once again, for our counter, we are now on two moose heads. One Zombrex, and a couple of hints. Because you need to buy these hints. Buy both of them. It's mandatory. In total, it's, I think, $3,000. $3,500. There we go. So, in total, I spent 1000 on Moose Heads, and 25000 on Zombrex, and 3500 on Hints. I don't actually know if the hints count towards the total, so I would recommend getting 103,000. Also, this part's pretty chill because we need to go in here anyway, and they're gonna watch the wild moose man break all the ATMs and stuff. Uh, this is the next area, which is why we need the extra Zombrex. Uh, one of the survivors in this game does need Zombrex. If you don't grab it, they won't come with you. It is Tia and Nikki. Also, please get out of the way of him. You want to talk to Tia. If you talk to Nikki, she'll tell you she's hungover and she doesn't like you. The moose attack is wild. I want to make sure I get to the green before I do anything else. I just pass there. Also, I think I can break the snack machines. Hold on. Can I? I can. And that gives $100 a piece. Remember, attack the vending machine. I'm actually, as a general PSA, because sometimes I'll do these whenever I do videos... Don't attack vending machines, like, actually. Uh, they're very deadly, and they kill 20 people a year. This is your PSA. Do not attack the vending machine. You do not win that fight. The more you know. Someone out there, you might you might be wrestling with a bag of Doritos. It's only a dollar. It's okay. You will live. So, food for thought on that. Also, can I break this or this? No, I can't. You see, I can't wait for the YouTube comments to tell me. If Dysis, I got very angry at a vending machine one day. But then I listened to what you said. And you know what? I'm now better off for it. There we go. So last but not least, we're now going to the movie theater. No. So the only way to tell... Actually, you know what? That's a good question. Uh, we can try it out. You know what? I'll try that on the next one. You might be right. And if so, that'll be the extra money I need, funny enough. All right, we make very sure to touch the proper ones. Two. Three. Uh, two. Good. Three. Four. Hey, it happens sometimes. You never know. All right, this is perfect. And pop. And one swing, too. God damn. All righty. Next one. Yeah, I'll try that out in the next one. You're right. I didn't even think about that. It only costs $100 to try. Like, I, I have $100. I think I actually have more money than I should. Uh, by the way, I may have lost count. I'm assuming I'm on... Okay. Good. Is that for your only... In Wait, uh, America can. What, for this game? Oh, it's not an overdose. Uh, for this game, the money's American because the game takes place in Las Vegas. 
Also, I now have $60,000 total, roughly. A little over that. Uh, I'm still going to pay attention to my other money counts. Okay, so after all of that, it's going to be very important that you break the moose head when you get to the back here. I am on pace. I am definitely on pace. You want to break the moose head. Uh, the reason why is because you're going to be carrying her. As well, uh, there's going to be some gems here. I didn't actually realize that they would spawn. Grab the gems! Uh, the gems are going to be your friends. Uh, the reason why you're going to want the gems is because those... I was going to say, no. Uh, those are going to be used for a mission with Gemini, which is going to be giving you a lot of money for that. I didn't actually realize I can do that with that. I actually thought I had to go back to get Gemini later. There we go. I do still need to remember that the zombie deaths have to happen. Like, I do need to make sure I kill enough zombies with that. So I'm going to be buying a lot of moose heads later and running things down. It's going to be good for me. Also, Gemini will be in this... Or not Gemini. Sharon will be in this tent right here. Uh, you're going to need a Zombrex for her. Somebody. There we go. There we go. Also, right now it's only three. We have plenty of time. Don't you worry. But yeah, make sure you grab the gems. Um, you might accidentally forget the gems. Do not. Um, it will get you a lot of money to have those gems. Um, no, no. So one Zombrex is we we have by default, and we get rid of it to get Sharon, which is why I had to buy more Zombrex. Because uh, you want one Zombrex or KD. All the other Zombrexes are just ex like expensive purchases I wanted to make. Now, I do still need to be careful, because I do want to make sure I'm killing a lot of zombies, especially in the next go-around. And in addition to that, I am actually going to want to be getting an engine, probably. What platform is this on? The Xbox Series X. Uh, hold on, I have the engine, the shed, and the... I'll go for the shed. Alrighty. There we go. Awesome. Luckily, these survivors are really good. Three Zombrexes, then? Yeah, I'm gonna buy... I, I wanna buy four in total. Ideally. Actually, not even four. I wanna buy less than four. Did Nikki get grabbed? Alright, good. Well, yeah, that's Nightcry right there. You know damn well I know about that one. Alright, so the funny part is I'm actually gonna be dropping the survivors off in, like, the designated safe zone. Uh, and hopefully they won't have a problem. Um, I definitely do not want to uh, have the issue of uh, bringing too much back without it. Well, I was, I was saying good that Nikki made it back. All right, and then girls, you are going to go in that Move corner. Nikki, what are you doing? So, the reason why I'm doing this is because I am going to have to kill a lot more zombies. Plus, I need a beer. Where's the brewskis at, chats? Where did you hide the brewskis? I'm now buying my third moose head. The third moose head is going to be nice, because then I get to live and breathe the moose. Another moose head, once again. There we go. Yeah, I know where to get that one. So, this is going to give me more kills and also allow me to travel faster. Uh, the reason why I want this to be broken is because, well, one, I can't carry the moose head. It's a heavy weapon. Uh, two, I'm going to be grabbing one of the next parts. I'll probably go for the one in the very back here. Uh, meaning I'm going to break it on over here. The moose head killing will just maximize the amount of zombies dead, so I don't have to worry about wasting any of my moose head. Come on. Really? That whipped it? Awesome. There we go. Like, one moose left, too. Love it. Alright, there's the beer. So now I get the beer drinking hat. Funny enough, I don't actually want to make it over here, because the shed is going to be next to the combo locker over here. Also, I think the barber might have money. Yes? No. Barbers don't have money. Oh, poor barbers. Alright. Alright. Right? Moose head too heavy? Well, I mean, both are heavy, but, like, depends on how heavy they are. 
Also, I'm actually going to be getting rid of my bat in exchange for the construction worker hat and the beer hat. Um, this is now all the combo weapons done. The beer hat is very good. You want this weapon with you. Uh, it is probably one of the best weapons in the entirety of the game, in fact. Oh, I don't have to get rid of any weapon. I miscounted. Uh, don't abuse it. If you drink too much of it, that's going to get you drunk. Three usages will get you drunk off your ass. Alright, so the bike forks are considered heavy, and you're going to have to carry them. Uh, the beer hat will heal you to help and give you a bit of experience every time you use it. Uh, the bike forks I went for, really you can do either the movie theater or the bike forks. It doesn't really matter which one you choose, you just need one of them. Um, so that's important. Oh god, give me that back. Almost there. And that's why I wanted to ban the laser. Yeah, you get slight XP. It's not a lot, lot, but it's good to have. Also, say like leaving the girls there, the zombies don't really go in that corner, which is very good for me. Bad for zombies, good for me. And I only need about uh, 300 more dead. I'm gonna have time to do this with the running around with the moose heads and anything else. By the way, did I say three moose heads or four moose heads? I lost count. Anyone keep count of the moose heads? There we go. I bought three. Cool. Thank you. I see having Twitch chat helps. See, I'd write this down normally or just do the math. Actually, the best way of doing this is creating a new account so you can just see them pop up when you get them all. Thank you so, so Alrighty. So these ladies don't give you any money. So disregard them. It's okay. Uh, before I give Gemini her gems back, I'm going to be taking the bike forks back to the bike. So the next trip, I'm going to be wanting to do another double because uh, the next group of survivors is going to be the dudes. Uh, for one of the dudes, you do need the broadsword, so make sure you haven't lost it. If you lost it, go to the hunting shop. It'll still be there. Alright, also make sure you give Gemini her gem. She's going to be giving you like 15k. Ah, oh, there's a Julius Splash. There we go. There's a 10k. I don't know. 10k or 15k? I think it's 10k. 10k. 15k, okay. She gives you 30,000 total. That's very good. Alrighty, and currently I've spent 25000 minimum. I have now $60,000. I'm going to get it in three trips. Wow, this is actually perfect. This is going to be more than perfect right now. Uh, the run's been good, Quailer. It's been very good. Easy money. Yeah, the easy money has been wild to have. Uh, it's funny because you actually can lose time on the run, though, and the time loss will happen uh, if you're not careful. Also, it looks like the next mission has spawned in, which will be good. Um, I actually don't want to do that quite yet, though, but I will get the activation for the mission. Because uh, mainly I want to buy my fourth moose head, and I'm going to start buying some Zombrex, too. Uh, keep in mind, the one Zombrex count next to me is going to be $25,000. So I want to do some nice math with that. I'll be doing the rest of my spending later. There you go. So this is where you get the next bike part. Uh, you want to make sure you're not going to be kill the guy because you need him as a survivor. And this is also be the one who needs the broadsword. Also, we're going to be grabbing some money. There we go. Beautiful. All right, you. Good. Once again, I'm going to be murdering every zombie so they do not get in the way of this. And then begins the money train. You see, I wish I can do this. The first five slot machines I do. Three. Four. Five. And you just imagine you go to the casino. First time you spend money, you just win five times. All I get is anonymous bits from one each time. Three. Four. Five. Good. Break that. Like that. I think the money trick glitch. I don't even know if it's actually a glitch. I feel like this is intended. Like, this is going to be amazing for if anyone wants to do this again. Realistically, as well, if anyone wanted to try competing against this time, most of my time saves going to be endgame. And there will be a strat there. One, two. That's one. So, we guess. Three. Four. Five. So as a reminder for anyone who may have missed the part I'm missing, the next two parts are going to be with a guy, and they're going to be behind the movie theater. 
Is that a challenge? It could be. If you have a Series X, you can technically beat me. All right. Actually, I think I might have more money than I need. I have 71,000 right now. I've already bought one Zombrex. You know what? I don't think I need much more money. I think I don't think I really need it. Yeah, I just need 5,000 more dollars. It's going to be easy. Okay. Alright, anyway, time for the next bout of zombie killing before I get... Uh, let, me go to, you know, let me just try to... Yeah, you know, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm not going to play it risky. No point. Yes, this is our fourth moose head. Thank you. The funniest part is I actually want to get another moose head right after this for more zombie kills. There we go. There we go. Only 3k more. Right, but I wanted, like, it'd be easier for me to do Zombrex, and I'm gonna be able to get one trip anyway. Do keep in mind, though, you don't have all the time in the world. You do want to make sure you are uh, properly spending. I mean, some people can beat me. It happens. Yeah. Also, I like how I got life and uh, stock. Alright. So, breaking both of these would give me... Actually, I think I should have enough. Well, that helps. Anyway, you know, wait, that's a smart idea. I should do that more often. Wait a minute, that's 300 IQ. I didn't hear the. Oh, yeah, you mean in a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, I did hear that. All right, two. Three. Four. Yep. Five. By the way, I missed this one. There we go. Okay, good. And next one. Because I want a little bit extra money, funny enough. Extra money is going to be nice. Because uh, then I get to buy more moose heads. Alrighty, so I've already bought one Zombrex. And break. Good. Well, hold on. There we go. Remember PlayStation only had Dead Rising 2? No, this is Xbox. Oh, only Xbox 360 had this. Okay. That flock of meese? Exactly. Actually, I think I could do it without the moose, but I'd rather have the moose. It'll be nice. Get all the bike parts in one trip, by the way, and then the next trip out will be my last trip out. So someone asked earlier, by the way, of, am I actually saving time? Yes. Uh, the reason why is because I'm going to be doing everything very quickly now. One. Two. So now I have spent three Zombrex, and that is my $100,000 requirement. And I have some money left over, too. There we go. So, the reason I want the moose is for zombie kills, and I have some moves I need to make. Uh, the first move is I'm going to need to get that part. So, I am actually want to break the moose head before I get that part, because it's going to be a, a heavy part. Uh, luckily, the part's pretty easy to get, but I can actually probably recruit the guys now I think about it, and I might do that. You know what, let's go recruit the guys who have the moose head, and then I'll get the part. One, two... Also, they did a nice job killing all the zombies for me, so that's gonna be nice. So, the guy who has the bike part's gonna want your katana. Alright, good. What time is it? It is currently 5.50, that's good. I didn't need to do that, by the way, I accidentally did that. There we go. Okay. So this guy is going to want my sword, and I will give him nice. handlebars. You see, chat, I heard I can ride my bike with handlebars. Someone once told me that. I don't know who. But I've heard that before. That sounds accurate. Did you know that? So I'm actually going to tell the guys to wait right here, and I'll meet them back. So Weeb has the bike part. Yes. 
Uh, this is going to be the next area that I talked about. I am just going to be quickly making my th way through the alley of the movie theater, and that is then going to let me... Uh, Case West is not on Steam. If you want to have Case West, you're going to have to buy an Xbox. Also, let's say we have leftover money. I didn't think we'd have that much, but I guess we do. Uh, the last part will be in the alley. Remember, you want to be done with everything by 7. Um, if after 7, you're going to start wasting time. It is very important you finish everything after 7. And once again, we've unlocked the shed, the police station, the movie theater back door, and the hunting shop. Um, we're saving almost all the survivors. Uh, after these two, there'll be one more set that happens after 7 p.m., which is where we can start to lose time. Uh, I actually want to gather some queens and some weapons during uh, the next part. So that's why I'm like, we're not done yet. Stick to me. Uh, these two will follow me. Stick with Are they me. stuck? No, they're coming. Uh, ideally, what I think I'm going to want is queens and shotguns. Uh, you can't do seven before Bob. Bob only happened. This, this is a separate game. Uh, this is Dead Rising Case Zero. Uh, this is a DLC, and that came out before Dead Rising. Uh... And all that. Also, let's do this. Oh, that's fast. There's my engine. There it is. Got some dank kills off that. And let's do this as well. Good. See, getting some free kills with that. Yeah, it's a very neat thing. And this run has done all almost all the achievements. Uh, I'm going to be actually a bit uh, rushed for time at the end of this, by the way, so be very careful. Uh, I'm kind of worried, because we still have a boss fight, we have one more uh, mission to do after this, and I have a lot i got to take care of. I have 11 minutes to get world recce. Especially with the last part, I can choke it if I'm not careful. So i got to be very careful. Uh, luckily, though, this is the second to last survivor group. And the actual bike parts are going to be done. Alright, it's currently 6.22 p.m. I'm really worried about my zombie skill right now. Because I need to uh, haul ass for this. Uh, I may have wasted too much time. Um. Alright, good. Still with recordable? Yes. You know, I didn't think I'd run into this problem where I run out of time. <laughs> Uh, it's a good problem to have, what can I say? Uh, now what I want to do with my inventory is I want two shotguns and I want two queens. Uh, also I'll be getting the moose. So I'm going to take one moose, go over to the shotgun shop, and I'll be getting that. In fact, I can probably do that while I'm saving the survivor I need. So I gotta be very careful. We'll check our time. I am running really low on time. But we'll have a little bit of waiting. Hey, well very nice. At 7 p.m., I want to be on the roof. And right now, it is... Let's see. 7.29. Okay, cool. So once we... Actually, I'll know when I get the nighttime cutscene. Alrighty. This is also why I wanted to have extra money. I'm going to be getting a moose head to get a moose head. Which is kind of funny. The moose head's really important, as you can tell. Alright, good. Okay. Now now Dick's just getting my money for free. Alright. Funny enough, the path I'm going to be taking is going to be kind of strange. And I want to be looking out for queens. I actually do want to snag them if I can. There go. There's one queen. Right in the middle of this ward. Let's make moose head. There we go. Give me this queen. So, the fun part is the rest of the game is going to be localized in these two shops. Um, and I'm going to prepare slightly early, now that I have the time. Uh, we unlocked the shop earlier, so if you don't know how we got this open, I opened it earlier. Um, make sure you open these two for the two shotguns. Uh, you want both. And fun fact, inside this shop is another moose head. You probably only need one queen for this, so we'll be fun.
All right, I'm gonna make my way back to the money shop. There we go. Back to the money shop. There's a queen, that's good. Almost done. Ooh, this would be rough. He really shot me? Oh my god, and he wished my queen. What a god. What a lad. I probably could have done the end game in the slide better, but I'm not going to care too much. What's with the boost hat? It's going to be actually very helpful for me later, so make sure you keep the boost hat. Uh, that's going to heal me too if I ever take damage. Okay, now we're in high cooking. Um, this is going to be fun because I'm going to have to multitask. Phase one. Uh, we are going to be going to the roof immediately. For Bob. Uh, I'll be getting my last 50 zombies during this time. And game memes, you gotta love it. So now, any time I waste, I'll be losing time. Uh, technically, you'd want to be on top of the rooftop with your 1,000 zombies killed, but we still need to hit that. So Bob finally finds his daughter, and his daughter is going to be in this shop right here. Oh, God, that's bad. Hold on, that's bad. Please! Look, God... Oh my god! This can't use zombie. Actually, does. Okay, hold on. You know what? I'm gonna begin part two of this mission. Oh no, I need another moose head! Okay. So she actually won't go with you unless you, uh, bring her dad. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Better falling apart. We'll be okay. Well, as long as I make this fine. Worst case scenario, this will be a nice commentator run, if not world record. Uh, then we get Bob. Remember, I still need a few more zombies. Also, be careful. Don't stand in front of Bob. He'll shoot you. So that's going to be bad if he does. Uh, Bob will follow you, though, luckily. And we want... Yeah, I got terrible RNG here. Bob should follow you, and you need him to take him to the store. So we'll actually just accept the mission, assuming you made it. And right now, Bob should follow us, and we have 30 zombies left to kill. I can't enter until I've killed 30 zombies. So I'll make sure I kill 30 here. Hold on. Alright, 16 left. Uh, good. There you go. And there is the rest of the zombies dead. Okay, at this point, we are almost done. No, you have, you have time. You have a lot of time. Alright, so now I've got all the zombies. Uh, this will be the last survivor save. Uh, I didn't want to check what pace I'm at. I did one run earlier where I got here, and this is the last thing I need to do that actually has major time. So the run's not dead yet. Um, I don't actually know what we're going to be doing. I know what the ending load should be. Uh, the finale takes about 30 seconds, and the boss fight's not super long. Uh, so now that I've already made everything, we just need to talk to Katie, and we're going to be getting the final boss. So this is why we grab the shotguns, and this is why I have the beer hat. Uh, the beer hat's going to be something I'm going to use for quick healing if needed. I recommend keeping it. And the shotguns are going to be our tool for the final boss. Um, you should take a little under 20 rounds to beat this. Alright, here's the fight with Jed. Uh, Jed's not a hard fight, he's more of an annoying fight. Um, this is going to be an important thing in the world of spacing. So if you stay close to Jed, he will try to attack you close. If you stay far from Jed, he will shoot you back. And getting shot back will be lethal. It will be really bad. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dance around him. This is a similar strategy that we do in Dead Rising 2 for Boykin. Um, so about this range. Uh, there is bad RNG. And you can see Jed's kind of melting. As long as you don't get this attack pattern, it's fine. There you go. That's fine. That's fine. 
All right, Jed's dead. Um, this boss is routed fast. It's mostly just making sure you don't mess it up. Y you don't need to say yeah, bro, every time. It's kind of annoying, by the way. But also, I'm not surprised. Jed's dead. Jed's dead. At this point, you just have to wait for the load, and we're almost done. The end game of this could have been better, but we'll see. All right. So, for the end of the game, all you have to do is hop on the motorcycle. Um, it's going to take you about 30 seconds to motorcycle out of here once you load in. So, at this point, there you go. After this cutscene ends, it'll be about 30 seconds. And then, once you get out of the area, you will have beaten the game. That is all achievements. And this is probably going to be case zero world record for now, unless someone wants to reroute this and beat this. Um, the world record before making this is 111.10. So, let's see what I get. And actually, does have a world record. All right, it's an important thing to know. Just be very careful with how you make your turns. Uh, there's going to be stuff in the way. Uh, it's okay to break. Make sure you get out. Uh, if you're doing it really well, it should take you about maybe 30 seconds. Maybe 40. Because this is a... Uh, we don't have an in-game timer for this game. Uh, we have in-game timers in a lot of other games, but not this one because we never made one. This is a console game. So that's why. Anyway, we are almost done. It's usually about the same amount of time, and... GG. I got a 110.15. Hey, that's a new world record on my second attempt. I rerouted it, and this has been a commentated run for Dead Rising 2 Case Zero All Achievements. Yay! Now, the only thing I'm really happy about is I beat a guy who bought a Series X. Because I bought a Series X. Hey, thank you for the five gifted subs. It's much appreciated. No! Glad you're enjoying the stream and glad you kept a word on that one. I would have forgot if you didn't tell me. So yeah, if you're watching this over on YouTube, I don't know, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a fun run. I really like doing this. And it was actually a lot tougher pace than I thought. Now, it could still be improved on the ending if you got more zombies killed early. I think you would actually want to just take them out faster somehow. Um, and you probably wouldn't need an extra $2,000 or so. So, yeah. And thank you, Talon. And also, if you got to get some, make sure you thank Talon. And thank you, Chad. GG. I hope you all enjoyed it, chat. Hope you had a good time with it. Good stuff. Yeah, this is a fun run. Also, I love the ending of this where Chuck puts back on his jacket. Anyway, if you want to be in the tweet that I'm making while I'm making this, uh, his car got stolen in the beginning. I don't know. Type your favorite part of Case Zero. He's one with his jacket, exactly. I like this run. This run is surprisingly fun. Like, I knew I wanted to run Case Zero the moment I did it. Like, I was like, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Um, I might explore Case West in the future, but I really don't like Case West. It's not as fun as this one. So, let's, uh, point at it, right?